Hello everyone, welcome to Homemaker. So today we're going to be working on these little button bouquets. And in your kit, you're going to have one of these uh, empty salt and pepper shakers. Um, you should have a bunch of wire and some buttons, and that's really all you need. But um, if you happen to have some wire cutters or some large scissors around, you can use those too. Um, but I will show you a way to get around using those. So the first thing we're going to do is arrange our button flowers. So you want to find some buttons that stack on top of each other pretty well um, to where the holes kind of align. And you can stack two or three on top of each other. It doesn't really matter as long as the holes work out. Okay, so I've got one here. I'm going to see if I can stack that third one. And then I'm going to grab one of my wires. So for these, you want to have them roughly in half. So if they aren't, just, you know, make a, a soft bend at the halfway point. And then you're going to start stacking your buttons. So I'm going to come up through one of these holes. And this wire is a 22 gauge floral wire, so it's pretty stiff, but it's not so stiff that you can't move it around. So I've come up through one hole and then I'm going to come down through the other. I'm not going to go through all of the holes just because I, the wire is bendy, but it's not necessarily going to bend through every single one of these holes. But if you want to try it, uh, you can. Um, oh. <laughs> I already messed up. All right, so I'm gonna put my my second second button on top. Um, kind of line up the holes again. I'm gonna see if I can get away with a third button. Let me see if I can find a a tiny one. So I've got this little blue one. We'll see how that looks. So I'm going to leave this one off for now just because I can't see the, the holes in the bottom. So there's a lot of trial and error with this as you play with the buttons, but I'm going to come down through this hole that's just across from the one that I came up through, and I'm going to go down and pull it all the way. So once it's secure on there, you can decide whether you want to come up and finish them off. Like I said, you don't have to, um, but you can. All right, so now you've got all of your your buttons secured together and you're going to turn it over and you're just going to start twisting the button so that the wire twists. And if your button is, uh, if your wire is kind of bent, you may want to straighten it out a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're just going to keep twisting until you run out of loose wire. So I've got my flower here and I'm going to put it in through one of the holes. You can wait until the end to finish it off. Um, so you'll put flowers in each one of your holes. I'll make a couple more examples. Um, but what you want is for your flowers to be at different heights. Um, but you can't really tell what height they should be at until you're kind of done with everything. So I'm going to make a smaller flower. I like this yellow and pink. And this yellow one only has two holes on it. So that's all I have to worry about. I'll go up about halfway and then come down through both of these buttons. And if you see that you're not quite halfway, you can push some wire up from the other side. So that's that's close enough. All right, so same thing. You're going to twist the back just to secure it and then keep on twisting. Of course, I put lotion on my hands right before this, so the wire <laughs> feels very slippery. All right. 
right so this one's kind of I think this one's going to be one of my shorter flowers so I'm not going to worry too much about whether I get all of the end twisted here all right so I've got a little one here I've got this one let's see I've got another wire here let's see and we're gonna do a purple maybe see which one I like better this is always the hardest part is deciding on colors these two look okay and they line up well enough okay so up through the bottom and then back down And twist. So I have these three flowers here they're all roughly the same length and then I've got some flowers that I've pre-made over here using a thinner wire so these are not gonna hold up as well but I'm gonna use them anyway just as an example all right so I have seven or eight of these guys so now what I'm going to do is the arrange them in here and move the camera. What you want is for them to be different lengths so that you can see all of them. So you can kind of play with the arrangement of where you put the flowers. Now these are pretty different lengths, so I would just stand this up and kind of move them around until I got them where I wanted. But if you're noticing that they're all kind of the same length, what you can do is either use a wire cutter or um, you can cut the excess off with some large scissors. Just make sure you're... Um, cutting in a direction that it's not going to fly back at you. Or if you want to make them shorter, you can also just fold up the bottom. You have to do this when they're already through the hole because otherwise it'll be too thick to, to go through the little openings. But you can just fold these and that'll make them shorter or taller. And then you just pop this back on. And if you wanted, if you had some pretty fabric or paper, um, you could take the lid off and just kind of, I don't have any paper here, but so roll the paper and then put it in there so that these stems are covered. But all right, this is my uh, button bouquet. Let me see if I can add these other ones in here. This is also something fun to do with kids because it's not too difficult and buttons are just kind of fun to play with. So um, here's my bouquet. You can bend the wires if you want them to go different directions. Until you're happy with it. So I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to put that on my 
counter with all my other library crafts that I have here. Right. So thanks for joining me and I hope you had fun with this one. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at the library um, and we'll be back next March with another craft. Bye.